Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, this pattern is getting even stronger, even chances with our heat to get over 100 heat indices all the way up towards Minnesota, Wisconsin, even almost 100 all the way into Canada. Now, for today, we do have chances for tornadoes and a lot more flooding, unfortunately, for the Northeast. But this pattern that we're going into is going to bring some more severe weather, and I'm seeing very high winds coming towards the Central Plains probably around Tuesday, Maybe some more chances for tornadoes and definitely some damaging winds. We even have damaging winds for today and tonight. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long and I have been telling all my subscribers they're all prepared for everything that's been going on, including what's been going on with your air quality. So everything you're going to start hearing about now or later on, my viewers have been knowing about it weeks ago. That way you can prepare the best way you can. I do see these patterns early. And you can see this as of this morning. So you have all this bad air quality. It's all either for sensitive groups or just for everyone in general unhealthy. Plus you have all this heat that's rising up and this is going all the way up to the Northwest. And this will eventually move to the East and cover this entire area and the Southeast as well. Plus you can see the flood watch is going on in the Northeast plus the flood warning in the Brown and the tornado watch you have for today in this yellow. And the smoke is so bad, we even have some purple coming into our atmosphere. If you've never been here before, I will show you. I have a map for you. This is where you really want to limit your outdoor activities for today. So I'll explain to you the pattern we're going into. If you've never seen this, I'm going to give you updates. If you have seen this, this is your EPO, your East Pacific Oscillation, whether you're going into a trough or a high ridge on the West Coast. And this does move to the East. So you can see all the way up towards 18th and 19th, all the way up to almost the 20th, we're going to a high ridge towards the west coast. That's going to bring your temperatures even further north into the country, and this will move east. And this is what that pattern looks like. As you start to get that high pressure building, you get some surface lows over the northern Pacific, also close to Canada, but it brings your jet stream way high northern all the way into Canada. Matter of fact, it's going even higher from what I can see, and it does bring a trough towards the east coast of the U.S. There's going to be some cooler temperatures coming as well. you got some very high daytime highs, but night times could be anywhere from 40 to 60. So when you look at your PNA, your Pacific North American pattern, whether you go into a negative or a positive, lets you know where this jet stream is going and how high these temperatures are going to go, either hot or cold. And you can see that we are going into a huge positive, almost off the charts, all the way until the late 20s. And just like I showed you in the last video, we got this big high ridge coming with this big trough. It is going to be some pretty crazy weather coming. But at the same time, this is what a positive PNA looks like. So that ridge on the West Coast is going to continue to go higher and higher into Canada. Matter of fact, even bringing some storms into Canada in almost 100 degree heat indices. And this is going to move to the east while it's bringing some 40s through 60s nighttime lows for the people towards the east. And to give you an update, you can also see with your precipital water that unfortunately you're not going to have any monsoon season all the way until August. And you can see this here. So you have all this precipitation going to the west and you still have Calvin going towards Hawaii. I will update you real quick on that. But everything's still going to the west because of this pattern we're in with this positive PNA. And you're not getting any monsoon season, no precipitation coming towards the southwest at least until the end of july plus latest update real quick on hurricane calvin it is predicted to be a tropical storm as it goes towards hawaii as you go towards 8 p.m on tuesday it is going to be north side loaded with the winds and the precipitation as it crosses over you and weakens down in those cool waters that i showed you down to a tropical depression still going to bring some impacts now the euro is shown as it passes by it will bring high 40s maybe even 50 miles per hour wind gusts on the northern side of the islands and the precipitation will be about the same way as well it'll be northern across the island so far showing light now the official information from national hurricane center this is your chance for tropical storm force winds and you see how it weakens down greatly as it goes towards y'all at the same time this all will be north side loaded and the earliest time it could arrive is sometime from tuesday morning to tuesday night the most likely time will be tuesday night according to national hurricane center just prepare it could be tuesday morning 
And you can see all of this pattern when you look up in atmosphere at your 500 millibars. So you still have that storm system coming in from Canada. This is still bringing more smoke into the area, but you can see how it stretches up into that high ridge over the West Coast. And then when you go into that positive PNA, it goes even higher. Now this is gonna bring some cooler temperatures towards the East Coast as you go towards the nighttime, but this is gonna bring your heat way up high heat indices and it is going to move further to the east it also is going to change where your severe weather is going to be it even gets really strong as you go towards the 25th very strong high pressure this is going to keep y'all heat going in the southwest all the way from the 25th maybe even all the way to the 28th as that just builds and builds over the southwest also after this low pressure swings on by it is going to bring all this strong heat towards the southeast and towards the east coast bring some strong heat indices for y'all as well and you can see this from weather prediction center in their update so excessive heat is from the 22nd all the way to the 28th also to the southwest showing the southwest is going to be stronger you're in the moderate level also for southern texas southeastern texas and southern louisiana going all the way up into canada all of this is going to be excessive heat all the way towards the southeast now they have it to the 24th covering over florida i'm showing it's still going over the carolinas just be aware of that also showing it will get stretched towards wisconsin and over the north central as well these are some very hot temperatures coming guys now another thing to remember is for your pets we all love our pets please help take care of your pets because when you walk your pets over asphalt please keep them over grass because even 90 degree temperatures will make it 160 over asphalt so please don't walk your pets over asphalt it will mess their paws up and burn their pads and here's a good rule of thumb if you can't hold the back of your hand on the ground for five to seven seconds it is too hot for your pets so for today, these heat indices are coming way up. You're going to be over 100, over 110 from multiple places, especially the southwest, and especially over the south, even getting southern Florida into it. And then for tomorrow, it is going to come right back up as well. Remember, this pattern is going to be all the way for the rest of this month. And you can see this here as you go into Wednesday, it's going to start spreading towards the southeast, a little bit further in the east, plus the southwest. As you go into Thursday, it's going to be there as well. As you go into Friday, it's going to stay there. Then we're going to start getting this high pattern all the way to the northwest. You're going to start getting the 90s and the 100s coming up, and that is going to go further into Canada, and it's going to go further to the east. As we go into Sunday, now you get 90s into Canada. As you keep going, you can see that these heat indices are going to be climbing towards the east as we get this positive PNA pattern. And by the time you go towards the end of the month, look at all this heat that is staying in our pattern, bringing over 100 heat indices all the way towards the north. This heat is not going away anytime soon. It's going to stay with us for the rest of this month. Now, real quick on your severe weather, you do have chances for tornadoes today in the northeast, and it's coming with your flooding as well. You have a 2% and a 5%. Here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today. But there also is going to be winds. And I even see late night, I think this 5% right here over Texas and Louisiana is going to be ramped up. I'm seeing some strong winds overnight for y'all as well. And there's going to be chances for hail at least two inches in diameter. So just be aware, it is going to be some rough storms for today as well. And just show until 7 p.m., your winds aren't going to be too severe in the northeast. You are going to have some high 40s and it might get up to low 50s. So when it really gets strong from 5 to 7 p.m. tonight, just be aware you have a lot of strong winds coming up across y'all with these storms it is going to be another nasty day of storms so to go real quick for your timing for these storms and you can see right here for the northeast that you do have a lot of storms brewing up all morning long and it is going to keep coming for y'all from virginia all the way to long island delaware new jersey rhode island all y'all in the northeast as well connecticut massachusetts New Hampshire, unfortunately, Vermont, you are getting it right now. And Maine, all y'all going to be getting this big line of storms all evening long. And it's going to start dissipating as you go towards 4 and 5 o'clock. Still going to be towards Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island, and a little bit of southern New Hampshire and Maine as you keep going through the evening. And you might get another string of banding coming across Vermont after that, all the way to 7 and 8 o'clock. 
then it's going to be going away for you guys. Also for the southeast, Florida is really going to be getting some storms for the next couple of days. So you see as you got these storms coming in for today all the way till this afternoon, mostly for northern Florida and a little bit for southern Florida. But this is going to expand for tomorrow. But you see how it stays all even along all the way till 7 and 8 o'clock. And then for this pattern for tomorrow, it's going to come right back again bring a lot of storms towards the west side of Florida for tomorrow morning before noon and it's going to carry all the way into the afternoon especially around three and four o'clock especially around Miami and Palm Bay so just be aware you'll have a lot of storms coming including Jacksonville maybe even some chances for hail in that if you look at that you'll see there is some little hail cores in that storm so Florida you are getting some storms as well Plus, Texas and Louisiana, you do get some nasty hail cores in those as well. As you get around noontime, you have this nasty line of storms coming. This is what's bringing those winds I showed you. As you go all the way to 3 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon, then it's going to start building up for Louisiana and going to the east, southeast all night long, all the way to 10 and 11 o'clock at night, maybe even midnight towards the West Bank. So just be aware these storms are coming later this afternoon and all evening long. And still showing it has hail cores all in there as it passes by. Plus we have severe weather for tomorrow as well. So far this is your cities and states at risk. I will update you first thing in the morning. And we have it for Tuesday also. And this is where I'm starting to see where some strong winds are gonna start coming in and a little bit lower possibilities. So we'll update this every morning. Because you can see when you look at your lower level winds, as you go into Tuesday, you're starting getting some strong winds aloft that comes across the South Central and the South all even along all the way until Wednesday and it goes into the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. That could easily bring some damage of winds and it could bring some chances for tornadoes. And just to show you, it's trending, it's showing on GFS as well. So both of the main models is showing there's going to be some strong winds aloft for Tuesday into Wednesday morning in the south. But this also is bringing flooding, especially for today. So you see with National Weather Service model all the way until Wednesday morning, you could get one to two inches over here for western, southwestern Illinois, some for Louisiana, some for Florida as well. But over here in the northeast where you just don't need any more, they're really getting a lot of rainfall. And you can see right here for Illinois, eastern Iowa, and for southern and southwestern Indiana, one to two inches, especially for western, southwestern Illinois. Louisiana for New Orleans towards the North Shore, you're going to get anywhere from one to two inches, especially for the New Orleans area, definitely the two inches. Also towards Florida, anywhere from the Panhandle of Florida towards northern by Jacksonville all the way down towards Miami. Y'all getting anywhere from one to two inches of rainfall coming with those storms that I showed you. And in the northeast, this is where just, just too much. They already have chances for tornadoes, plus what happened in the past all the way from eastern North Carolina, all the way to southern Maryland, across Delaware, New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, upstate New York. Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Long Island, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, all of y'all, one to two inches of rainfall or more coming just in the next couple of days. And showing with National Weather Service that all this mainly is coming just in the next 24 hours. So if you can see this, only in the next 24 hours, you're getting a lot of rainfall coming, bringing extreme flooding again. So just for today, you can see the marginals that you do have for the central and the southeast. But over here in the northeast, I do have it on the urban area so you can see all the population. So you have a big marginal, you have a big area for slight risk, but now you have this huge area of a moderate risk. And you can see all the urban areas of where people live, where this is going to be impacted. And this is going to be a lot of flooding again for today. Plus, our air quality is getting worse. You see it on the map this morning. You knew about it a few days ago. As of this morning, Chicago, Illinois is number two worst air quality in the world. And I'm showing you on this map a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And this purple coming in towards Montana is very concerning, guys. This looks stronger than any, any of the other ones. This purple means unhealthy. I'll show you. But you see the pattern. You see all the winds and the flow going. All this is going to keep flowing into the U.S. and this is still going towards Ohio Valley and intercoastal northeast. So for this morning, you have the orange, which is for sensitive groups unhealthy, but all this red is just unhealthy in general. And you do have purple over here flowing in. That's strong qualities coming in, but it's not close to the ground level. But you can see all the people that has all the problems with your air quality for today. This is a live map 
of what's showing. And look at everyone that's in the unhealthy regions. So just be safe, please. Matter of fact, Montana National Weather Service put this out for you. You have poor air quality and it's going to keep going for the rest of today at least. So limit your time outside, close your windows, keep your air conditioner, air intake closed, and your filter clean. And now you can see the latest update of how much area it's actually covering. So the orange is unhealthy for sensitive groups, but that red is unhealthy, period. Plus you have the very unhealthy in that purple. That's what's in Canada, and some of that is going to get pulled down. That's why I showed you that last map. So look at all the people that's going to be in unhealthy for sensitive groups for all of this orange. But all this red, all the way from Montana to Dakotas, southern Minnesota across Iowa, southern Wisconsin, even a little bit of northern Wisconsin, and northern Illinois, you're in unhealthy air quality so far for today. And when you look at the latest update on HRRR, you can see how that is swinging through. Now that system is going to bring some storms. It is going to help break it apart and help it out. But as you see, as we go in towards tomorrow, towards tomorrow afternoon, it is going to bring unhealthy quality also for Pennsylvania, going into western New York, maybe even towards Vermont. Just be aware it's not over yet. But for this region that has unhealthy air for today, as you go later in the evening, it is going to start dissipating and overnight, and it will go away. And a quick update on the tropics. Remember, guys, it's late July, early August before we have any issues. Euro is showing this morning a chance for a tropical depression to form, and all of that dust in this building high pressure may be around eight to nine days away so take that with a grain of salt guys it's just too far away to be sure i'm still showing that's not possible could we still have this huge plume of dust that is moving through the mdr and it is still going towards the bahamas and towards the southeast while the next potential tropical wave forms up look we have more dust pushing that to the west as well i believe nothing is still coming till late july early august Matter of fact, when you look at the control member with the euro, which means your more than likely outcome for your potential velocity anomaly, all the way for the next 10 days, from the 16th all the way to, to the 26th, and I always showed it was going to be a little bit after that time. We have unfavorable environment in our way for the tropical Atlantic for anything to form. You can see this also on the GFS unfavorable environment maybe around the 26th and 27th things will start changing with a little bit of favorable but mostly neutral it's not going to change until after that you can see the same thing with the euro unfavorable environment if we get any favorable environment it's not going to start coming off the mdr until after 10 days and then maybe we have an issue for late july in the beginning of august i will keep you updated Matter of fact, National Hurricane Center still don't show any formation in the next seven days. But most of all, thank you for your time. God bless you all and your families. Please share this information to other families. Let them know what is going on and when things are going to start clearing up. Plus, this big extreme heat pattern. Latest update still shows it's still coming and it's getting even stronger. So please prepare for these strong temperatures coming, especially if you have farms. It's going to be less precipitation and more heat. That's not a good thing. And today I want to spread a little word to you, Psalm 4, 6 through 8. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Amen. I wish safety for every single one of y'all. Hope you have a very great day. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he always give you safety and peace in your heart and in your home. That's the most thing I long for is peace. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> give us peace. Have a great day. Everybody.